Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video and welcome to a new running vlog. And it's the 17th of January and the plans for the upcoming two weeks is for me to finish the editing of my sequel to Gods of Rock and Ruby in my debut novel, which will be released the 26th of July this year. And if you haven't watched my latest video on this project, I will link that in this corner and also in the description below so you can watch that before this because now I'm jumping straight into chapter 34. So I'm gonna talk about the things that I need to change in the end of my book. The book is 51 chapters and an epilogue or 50 chapters and an epilogue. <laughs> I always get that wrong. I'm on chapter 34 so I'm more than halfway through and if I do one or two chapters per day, four chapters a day during the weekend, I will be able to finish this in gen January. With that in mind I may get God's Water Rune back the proof copy and then I will of course prioritize that and I will prioritize my schoolwork and I will prioritize work before this. So now for example it's 10.27 in the morning. I need to eat something and then I need to go to work. So I don't know how much time I can put on my editing this morning. Anyway, I don't have time to talk to you guys right now. I'm on chapter 34. It's from my male POV and it's our first real steamy scene. Or it's not the first steamy scene, but it's the biggest steamy scene because it takes up a whole chapter. Hopefully it will be a quick chapter. Anyway, I have to like go into work in like an hour. So we'll see how it goes, but I will update you maybe tonight when I come back because I think I'm gonna do another chapter if I have energy or motivation and time. But otherwise I will update you tomorrow. Hello, here's the update. It's the 19th today. I'm sorry that I didn't update you yesterday, but I had a lot going on yesterday. I finally feel like I have begun with the schoolwork and I feel like I have a nice rhythm now where I do one thing every day. But it's very fun so far. I have chosen a color palette for this fictive brand that we're gonna do like a whole brand identity for. So I have done a color palette and I have kind of decided on a type of text or typography for the site or the website because I'm gonna do a website as well. So I have this time right now to focus on a chapter and I'm on chapter 39 and I don't actually think I have much to do on this chapter and it's really really short. It's almost precisely two A4 pages so it will go rather quickly and when I'm done with that I think I don't know what I'm gonna do because I've done most of my to-do list today. My to-do list was editing the clip that you just saw in this vlog because I find that if I edit along the way that I'm filming a vlog then I don't get as much stress. I did that this morning. I edited one chapter already today so I edited chapter 38 eight and it was a steamy scene the whole chapter was a steamy scene the following chapters is the beginning of the climax and the end of the book i also filmed a video about the anthology that i'm in uh, I have already posted that I think so I can link that in this corner and also in the description below and then I also finished writing a part of the uh, assignment so all I have to do left on my to-do list today is work and eventually edit one chapter which I am gonna do now this week I have worked for every single day so next week I'm working only four days so I have one day in the week off to work on school things which is very good and why I'm trying to do two chapters a day this week is because I know that the upcoming maybe five or six chapters there is quite a lot I need to work on with those chapters I need to rework some scenes rewrite scenes or a whole chapter I think and I also need to write new scenes into the chapters because I had a problem with the end during my read through so that's why I'm trying to do two chapters a day this week because next week I think I'm only gonna do one chapter a day because I will be working one hour more each day anyway I'm gonna go now I need to edit this chapter hopefully it won't take one hour it, it will probably take less but yeah I'm gonna go it's January the 25th and I haven't vlogged anything and I'm sorry about that. Last week I was feeling stressed as hell. I said to you that I would edit four chapters a day during the weekend. Did not do that, which means that now I'm on chapter 47. I have 47, 48, 49. Three chapters left. I thought that I would be done by now, but... I'm not. And why I'm saying I only have 49 chapters total is because I'm on 47 now and it's from my male point of view. But then 48 is four days later, also from my male point of view. So what I'm thinking is that maybe I should put that scene in chapter 47 and having the last chapter in the book from my female character be 48 and then the epilogue be 49. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do with that. I need to edit 47 and then see what I feel about it because it's a really short chapter, so I could potentially put another scene in there. So it's the 25th of January. I have already edited a chapter, and that was chapter 46. We have passed the climactic point of the book. What I'm feeling is, when I'm editing, 
um, after my changes of like the climactic scene is that the end is kind of anticlimactic because they catch the big baddie. This is a murder mystery, so of course that is the end of the book. Like they, they need to catch the murder. But now the female main character thinks that everything is her fault and I don't really know if she should feel like that right now because she kind of felt that during the dark moment. But since everything's kind of done, I don't think she should feel like that. So I'm working on that following the next chapters. I feel like she should be more hopeful and more like a driving force after climactic confrontation. But yeah, 47 is from my male point of view and it's the calm after the storm. And this is the chapter where he reflects on everything that has happened and his internal conflict has kind of settled. So he had his aha moment the last chapter and now this is the reflection of the aha moment and what this means for his future and their future together. Yeah, I'm thinking to do one chapter a day. I've already done my chapter today. So tomorrow I'm thinking of doing one or two chapters, depending on what I feel like doing. Because tomorrow I have a day off from work. So I'm going to focus on schoolwork, of course. With that said, that's the update that I have for you. And hopefully I will vlog a lot more tomorrow and see how far I'll come. And also an update, I haven't talked with my beta reader about this yet. So that's what I'm gonna do next after I have finished filming this little clip here. I'm going to message her and see if she still wants to read the book, if she can read it in February or if I can send it to her in February because I'm almost done with it. Hello, <laughs> it's the update. I thought that I would be vlogging a lot today but I have been sitting maybe a total of three, four hours working on school things. I didn't find fun at all. <laughs> it was difficult. I needed to learn Illustrator in one day because I wanted to get this done today and tomorrow because I will only have it for like a week of trial period. It's the 26th of January and I have already edited a chapter today and the chapter that I edited I was quite happy with. It was a shorter scene so I think it was just under a thousand words. It showed a lot of character development and the romantic relationship development in the book. This was my free day. I have work tomorrow so tomorrow I won't have as much time to work on things writing wise, studying wise so that's why I wanted to get as much done today. But with that said the learning curve of me trying to learn illustrator in one day or like I thought it would take maybe one hour maximum. I was wrong. I needed to vectorize a, a drawing that I did in Procreate and it didn't turn out the way that I wanted to but I made it work finally. Now I so like I don't really feel like sitting up right now because my back is hurting as hell but I am going to sit down to edit one more chapter because my mom is getting home quite a lot earlier today so maybe we she wants to do something. Maybe we are gonna watch complete our K-drama before dinner because we always watch K-drama after dinner. We are currently watching the first season of Alchemy of Souls on Netflix. It's a K-drama, fantasy K-drama set in a completely different world inspired by historical fashion and world building I guess. Anyway, it is so damn good. It is the best fantasy k-drama I have ever watched. And since I'm mainly talking about fantasy books on this channel, like my, my myself writing fantasy books, I thought that you may be interested in watching a good fantasy show. It has everything. It has humor, it has a romance that is so spot on. It's enemies to lovers, forced alliances, hidden identities and just it's perfect. But I have kind of been spoiled for Nanny, so I know how it ends. We have 40 minutes left on the last episode. And then the second season is now airing in the Scandinavian Netflix or Swedish Netflix. And it's only 10 episodes. So I think maybe two or four episodes has been aired. I need to get going with that chapter. It is, it is not that long and it's just a happy chapter. I don't need to change or rewrite anything in it. I just need to go through the comments that I made in the margins. And I think I'm gonna keep this chapter as it is. So last chapter from my point of view is gonna be short. I'm fine with that. I talked about this in the last clip, I think, but... I think they need to be separate to have that kind of finality to the climactic confrontation. And then four days later, there's two chapters, one from a male point of view and one from a female point of view. So when I have done this chapter, I only have two chapters left. So hopefully I will do one chapter tomorrow and then Saturday or Sunday, I will do the last chapter. And I'm so freaking excited about it. I'm so ready to be done. I'm still very unsure about the last chapters in this book. When I read it over, I talked about this in the read-through vlogs, I was unsure about the climactic confrontation. If it's happening too fast, is there enough build-up before? Is it a satisfying confrontation or end? Because I feel like I build up a lot of anticipation towards this confrontation, but I, 
I'm not sure how I delivered on that. I don't think this book can end in a different way, but maybe I can try to focus on something different in the end. That is something that I have to ask my beta reader and also update. I did message her right after I filmed that last clip. She said that she wants to read it and she said that she is beta reading something else now, which I knew. She said that maybe I can send it to her in one to two weeks, which is fine by me. I'm gonna get it done now and then take a couple of days off, go through the comments that I have put now in my read through again. I'm gonna go through that and I'm also gonna do a Google Forms, so a questionnaire for the beta reader so she can answer the questions while reading things about the character's conflicts and internal conflicts, motivation, if things are clear, if the ending, like, was that satisfying? I will ask a bunch of those questions, so I'm gonna stop procrastinating and edit that chapter. Hello everyone. The sun is shining. I have been doing schoolwork, so I'm done with the first part of the assignment. But I'm really happy that it, the sun is shining and that I get to walk outside to work. I did one chapter today, and that's the last chapter from my film point of view. And when I went through the comments and like skimmed through the chapter, I'm not reading it through roughly this time, I'm just skimming through, focusing on the comments and the things that I need to change. I think I'm happy with the chapter because it was not as dramatic maybe as I thought, and I think that this is a nice end. In the first book, that's also a fancy romance, so the expectations going into a romance is that it's happily ever after, and it's kind of that in the first book, and I want to write romances like that now in this book and also the third book. In the first book, it was, I was so clear about them saying I love you or something like that. But in this book, I never wrote them saying it, and I don't even think my characters m mentally, internally said I love that character or I love him or her or that person. They didn't even internally recognize that they love the person. So I added that in both from a male point of view and my female point of view. I like that part of the scene now, like I liked my adding on to the scene, but we'll see what my beta reader thinks. And so now for Saturday and Sunday, I only have one chapter left to do or that's the epilogue. And it's only two A4 pages, quite a short chapter. And now when I've come to this chapter, I don't feel as overwhelmed as when I was at the beginning thinking on everything that I need to change about the epilogue because I feel more confident now about my ideas with the epilogue, like the changing the surroundings and the descriptions of the world and also changing how my character thinks and acts and her internal conflict in the book because that needs to be shown as early as the epilogue because that acts as a cliffhanger from my that point of view. So we need to understand what that character is or who she is from the epilogue. I need to go to work in like 10 minutes, so I can't really talk for long, but I'm really happy with having just one chapter this weekend because that means that I can do one page Saturday and one page Sunday and I don't have to stress that at all. Another fun thing is that I'm gonna pre-order the Hogwarts Legacy Deluxe Edition so that I get 72 hours early access which means that I will be playing Hogwarts from the 7th of February instead of the 10th of February. It's just three days in advance, so you don't really need to pre-order, but I feel like I want to. I will be doing that, or I think my dad will be, and I will be paying him because I got my first paycheck today from the library, and so I want to treat myself. And I will be treating myself with Hogwarts Legacy, of course. And I also want to treat myself with books, because after reading Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon, I have a craving for more Ice Planet Barbarians novels and they have quite a few actually published in that new special edition with the beautiful covers because I think they're so beautiful and I want to have a whole shelf with them and I know it's like 16 or 20 novels in the series by Ruby Dixon and I don't know if every book is gonna be printed in that special edition I hope there will be I can just talk a little bit also about what I'm currently reading which is Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert I'm this much into the book, that's page 106. It's very hot and steamy so far. And I feel like Talia Hibbert is very good at writing attraction, like sexual attraction, and also that deep emotional conflict because I love that our male main character is very open with his feelings and his depression and anxiousness, or anxiety, I mean. <laughs> He's very open with that, which I really enjoy reading about. I will not be taking any books, I think, with me to work. We do that sometimes when it's like the late shift uh, because there's not that many people in the library and we don't have as much to do during like the last hour of work because I want to work I want them to put me to work and like do stuff and there's always things that you can do in the library like put up books or something I will be going to work now 
I'm wearing my light academia look. I don't know if I will opt to do it this weekend, maybe. Otherwise, I will opt to do Monday after the weekend to tell you how everything went. With that said, I'll see you in the next clip. Hello, everyone. It's time for the update and the end of this writing editing vlog. It's the 30th of January and I am done with the editing of book two. <laughs> it has a working title, my beta reader knows it's working title, but I haven't announced the title yet and I'm not gonna do that until the first book is released and maybe has gotten its first reviews, maybe a couple of months after its release. It's gonna be a long time until I announce the title because I want to build the hype after I have released the first book. I don't want to build the hype for book two when I haven't even published book one yet. So I edited the epilogue and that's the last thing that I did and then I went through the comments and I did that Saturday, so two days ago it's monday the 30th today two days ago i edited the epilogue and then sunday so yesterday i went through the comments that i had put into the document i saved the comments where it was like this scene is new read through i had a lot of those comments a lot of new scenes that i need to go through again so i'm gonna do that right before i send it to her i'm not gonna do that this week probably next week and yesterday i also sat down and created a google forms document and i have done this with everything that has been beta read so far and that contains gods of the ruin the short story that i won a contest with and also the short story that didn't win i did this with all of them i created a google forms containing a lot of questions some questions are just yes and no answers but a lot of questions is for the beta reader to write their answer and i thought that i could go through a couple of them just so you would get an idea of what the questions contain and since i have done this three times i had a lot of questions to copy and paste and use again so i used a lot of questions from book one in god's water ruin since that's a full novel and not short stories so i took some questions from that rearranged and rephrased so that it would fit for book two one of the questions that i took from the first bit of reading for book one is did the story capture your interest from the beginning why so I want them to like motivate why I captured their interest, not just yes or no. If no, I really want to know why it didn't capture your interest or what the reader thought was the reason. I also had this about Eden, my female main character in book one. What is your general thoughts about the main character Eden? Now Carowin is the main character. What did you like or dislike about her? Is Carowin's motivation and goals clear and believable? Like is her motivation and goal believable for her situation? If not, why? Was Carowin's motivation to investigate in the murder mystery clear enough? And then I have the same questions about my male character. And then I also asked if the characters and the relationships were believable. This is a hate to love marriage of convenience trope thing. So I also asked if the marriage of convenience was motivated like you know the reasons for them getting into the marriage were they clear enough and then also what do you think about their relationship together does the romance happen too fast or too slowly or the pace was good and instead of doing separate google forms for each act of the book which i did with cultural ruin i don't know which way is better like maybe i could have done that with this book as well having like the beginning middle and the end and separate google forms and separate questions for each part but i thought that i <laughs> I feel much more confident about this novel than I did the first book, so I don't think I need that. I just want an overall feedback thing. All these questions are meant to be answered after she has read the book. Maybe that will be difficult because I don't know how fast she will read the book, but these questions contain spoilers of the book, so she can't really do them while she's reading. Here I also have a question like, what were your first thoughts about or after finishing the book? Was the end satisfying? If not, why? Uh, was Carwin's character development satisfying? Was the male main character's character development satisfying? Who is your favorite character? Could you foresee the plot twist and who the killer was? I had this with the first book as well, which I think is very good. According to you, what is the novel's greatest weakness? And then according to you, what is the novel's greatest strength? And then I also have like, on a scale to one to 10, how much did you like the book? I think actually for Ghost of the Ruin, that bit of reader said nine. In my head, I thought that she said seven on that. She actually said nine. I think. And then on a scale to 1 to 10, how interested are you in wanting to read the sequel from another perspective? And then there's a couple of questions which is really fun for me to read about. Like, what is your predictions for book three? I had this for God of the Ruin as well. And then I asked about book two and it was really fun for me to read about. And then I also had like, how was your experience as a beta reader? Good or bad? Could I, as the author, have done some anything different for your experience to be better? And overall, these questions are less than when I did it in 
three separate parts because a lot of the questions were the same, but just pointed at the first seven chapters, the middle chapters, the end chapters, and then the questions were the same, but they were about different chapters. So I think this is good. And she's the kind of beta reader to also comment into the document. That's the way that I did with her book as well when I beta read her first fancy novel. I am gonna beta read her newest fancy novel because that sounds so freaking good. Just what I like to read. A fancy romance, enemies to lovers kind of deal. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, that's the Google Forms that I did. In a week, I'm going to read through it, but I'm not gonna vlog that because I don't think it's fun. I will just sit there and read and I don't want to spoil anything. So I won't talk about the plot beats or the things that I'm reading through. So that's really it for this vlog. And if you watch my latest video, I can link that in this corner and also in the description below when I talk about what I did in January and what my goals are for February. I filmed that last week, so I hadn't completed the editing of book two, but I'm happy to announce that I have completed that goal. But I also talked about February, I will not write anything, but did get an email this morning and I'm going to be in a newspaper, which is for booksellers or readers, or I don't know what it's for, like who's the audience here, but I am going to write a debut portrait about me and my book. It's gonna be a whole page about me with my face in a picture and I'm really nervous about that because I don't know how to talk about myself. I know how to talk about my, my book, like I, I know how to pitch my book but I don't know how to pitch me as the author, like what makes me special. That's gonna be really difficult but I am gonna film that process so I'm gonna end this vlog here and start a new one discussing what I'm gonna write about in that debut portrait thing. I have a deadline for that one so I have to be quick about it. Thank you so much much for watching this video leave a like and a comment below and subscribe because i post a new video every week every thursday and that's the best way to support my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>